Welcome back to a series of videos developed to introduce you to the systems on the Longitude Model 700. My name is Roy Reardon, Technical Customer Support for Team Longitude, and in today's video we will be going over the potable water system and the waste system. Now the potable water system is an on-demand pump-driven system that provides hot and cold water to the galley sink, the vanity sink, and the toilet. Now where we left off in our walk around video, we were talking about the potable servicing panel. Now in this panel we have the standard potable freshwater service port. We have the quantity gauge here. And then a three position selector valve right here. Now if you go clockwise on this selector, then you'll drain the system and counterclockwise to fill the system. The normal position is in the flight position right here. Now if you're draining from full, that takes about 10 minutes. If you're filling from empty, that takes about 20 minutes. If you're doing a clean cycle, you're going to first want to drain the system all the way. You're then going to want to fill the system with fresh water and a cleaning solution. You're going to want to then do a rinse cycle, so you're going to drain the clean solution out and then refill with fresh water and then drain the rinse out and fill one more time to full for a service. The potable water tank holds about 12 gallons of water. You can add one additional gallon of water using the overfill in the vanity sink. You can check the quantity of the tank right here on this cabin management screen. Tap the cabin management screen anywhere to wake it up. Select systems, and that shows you your water system tank level. In this example, we're between 50 and 75% full. That equates to about six to nine gallons of water. The potable water tank can also be drained through the Garmin system. To do that, select aircraft systems, cabin management, then finally, water system dump. If you're doing this in the hangar, be sure to have catch cans under both the forward and aft drain masks. Here we have the vacuum toilet assembly. The high flush switch is right here, and it provides 6.5 ounces of fresh water. The low flush switch is here, and it provides about 3 ounces of water. The vacuum toilet assembly needs differential pressure to run independently of a vacuum generator pump. At low altitudes or on the ground, the vacuum generator pump will begin to spool up once one of the selector switches is pressed. There will be a slight delay as the vacuum is being built up. Above 6 psi differential pressure, that slight delay is removed. Once the 6.4 gallon waste tank is full, the switches will still function for three additional flushes. After those flushes, depressing the switches will not actuate the vacuum toilet. Here we are at the aft section of the airplane, and in this condition we have the vanity sink removed, and right underneath where the vanity sink would be is the potable water pallet and potable water tank. On the potable water pallet, we have the diagnostic box assembly, water system controller, filter cartridge, the pump assembly, the water heater, and then the dump valve. On the starboard side of the aircraft, underneath where the vacuum toilet assembly would be, is the water system accumulator. This water system accumulator allows for the vanity sink, the galley sink, and the vacuum toilet to be run all at the same time without a noticeable loss in water flow. Just after the waste service panel is the waste tank. This is a 6.4 gallon tank that's insulated. Just after that is our vacuum generator that is used when we're below 6.0 psi differential pressure. One final thing is this waste tank vent right here. I hope you found the information in this video useful and we'll see you next time.